Hi guys and welcome to another Lawrence's Driving School driving test talk through. And here the candidate is off on a rainy morning, early morning, to do a nice early morning driving test. Um, the, the, the time is one hour sooner than it really is. It says it's 7.18 but it's actually 8.18. The test started at 8.10, they're a little bit late out and we're a little bit late starting. As we drive down the road here, um, we have a bend coming up, but the sat nav quite often calls that a turning. It says turn right, but it's actually a bend right. So the candidate turns to the right and off we go to the first roundabout. And as we come up to the first roundabout, we're going to go straight over, second exit. So it's a mirror check and there's a van behind us at the moment. And we can see uh, a couple of cars passing and it's safe to proceed. So as we pass the first exit, it's a left mirror check and a signal. Coming up to the next roundabout, we're going to go straight over, third exit to Wellingborough A509. And it's quite a busy time of day. It's uh, early morning. It's rush hour, as you can see. Bit of a tail back on the roundabout. And we need to get out safely without causing any other vehicles to slow down unnecessarily. So it looks like a gap's opened up. Can't really see to the right. But are we going to go? Off we go. Third exit one to as we pass the second exit just check your mirrors give a left signal make sure you know what's going on behind and off we go we've just gone into a faulty area so let's get some speed going as we approach the next roundabout For the next roundabout we're going to be turning left and that goes on to a dual carriageway At the roundabout coming up, we're going to be turning right. Now, the candidate needs to change lanes here, so it's a mirror check, make sure it's safe, and changing lanes safely into the right-hand lane or the inside lane to turn right on the roundabout, which will be the third exit. So we're just making sure it's safe to go. There's a van coming, so not at the moment. And off we go round to the right with a right signal. As we pass the second exit, it's a left mirror check and a left signal as we accelerate into our new road and up the road we go It's going to be a right turn here. We've got priority over the waiting red car as he's on a giveaway line. And we are turning right from a major road to a minor road. So we have full priority. And off we go turning and going straight up to the large roundabout at the top. This is junction nine. When we get to junction nine, we'll be turning right. And that will be the fifth, the fourth exit, I believe, um, onto the A14. Now, interestingly, um, as the candidate was coming up here and waiting, a rather impatient driver came up from behind and started hooting the candidate as they were unable to get out. Afterwards, the examiner said that he quite understood why the learner could not pull out um, in such a busy roundabout and understood that when the opportunity did come, the learner did actually pull out at the right time but before that the vehicle coming up behind now became very impatient and started hooting the learner i wouldn't advise hooting learners they could be on their driving test and this would really unnerve most candidates in this case the candidate remained cool calm and collected and just pulled out when it was safe to do so
And as we go around the roundabout, we're going to be leaving on the next exit. So it's a mirror check, it's a left signal, and making sure no one's on the left of us. A uh, bit of a skip there in the video, but we'll leave it in. And there's a mini emerging over there just behind us. Off we go down there. The signs say we can choose a lane, left or right. The left lane would be a joining lane. The right lane's a merging lane and comes onto the dual carriageway. Cleverly, the candidate has picked the left lane where nothing really is required except just staying in lane. So there's no coming over involved. There's no looking for a space. Unfortunately for the, uh, or fortunately, depending how you look at it, the vehicle in front is going quite slow. And we can see the speedo there. It's only 46 miles an hour. Now we should really be doing a lot faster than that, even in these road conditions. But 46 miles an hour, painfully slow and the examiner is wishing for the candidate to overtake this vehicle particularly because the lane next door the overtaking lane is actually free and clear at the moment so let's see what happens And what a good job the candidate made of that, overtaking the slow car and coming back to the driving lane again. And off we go to junction seven, where we'll be turning, I think we're turning right, third exit to the A43 when we get there. So let's see how this goes. So we're staying in the left lane as the signs have said this lane for Junction 7. The candidate is leaving on Junction 7. As we go under this gantry sign, the lines on the right change. We are now on a slip road, so we've merged into a slip road for leaving on Junction 7. So let's see where the candidate is asked to go next now. I believe, actually, I believe it's a fifth. Uh, they're asked to turn right to the hospital, which is a fifth exit. So let's see what the candidate does. The candidate chooses the left lane and is this the lane they want? A car coming up on the right behind us. So he's come over now. Oh, she changed lanes. The candidates changed lanes and now coming up for a right turn on the roundabout. Now only this lane turns right to the hospital and Telford Industrial, and the other two lanes on the left are going to the A43. So this is the correct lane and a good job done. These lights catch a few people out on tests as they forget to keep looking at them. They've turned to red now, the candidate stop, stopped, and that's a good move. We're actually going around the corner, we're not going straight ahead, that's the A43. This lane only turns right around the corner here on the roundabout. 
and uh, hopefully the candidate will move over to the left lane. There are two lanes around that corner. The left lane is the best lane, uh, unless it's filled up, of course, in which, well, we can use the right lane. So let's see what the candidate does. So as we go around the corner, and the candidate moves into the left lane behind the truck. Okay, fair enough. Could have gone to the right lane as it was empty, but the left lane is the best lane, I would say. And there we are, leaving tyres and tarmac to be seen underneath the truck in front. And we'll be off to leave on the hospital exit, which is two exits away from here. Now we've left into a merging lane, so it's a right mirror check, and there was a black car there on the right. Hopefully he was holding back there for the candidate to uh, just carry on. It is equal priority on a merging lane, so you have to be very careful and use your mirrors. So off we go towards Gypsy Lane. I believe that's gonna be a right turn into Gypsy Lane. Coming up to a very common test stop, just past the bus stop here on the left, past the junction, past the bus stop, just park it up on the left. Now when you're parking up on a left, on the left in a driving test, make sure you pick a place pretty soon, pretty quickly. Don't keep driving on and on and on. So the candidate's done a good job. Nice, early, quick decision to park and then off again. And you're asked to park up on the left or it possibly the right if it's a maneuver on a driving test at least three times for all different reasons one's a angled start one's a hill start and one's just to see if you're going to park legally and safely if your park's asked to park more than four times it's not unusual or even five times it's not unusual so we're carrying on and we're going to be doing a left into a bow hill which we call bump hill and because it's extremely bumpy and uh, when we get to the end of that road we're going to be turning left so as we approach Bow Hill, it's mirror check, it's a signal, nothing going on behind really. It's a bit of a tight bend this one, you've got to go quite slow. Coming down to eight miles an hour, that's about right. And off we go down Bow Hill. I think there might be another stop down Bow Hill.
coming up to the dreaded double roundabout system in Kettering. But on this occasion, luckily, the uh, candidate is asked to turn left, which is a pretty easy thing to do on this double roundabout system. <laughs> Most people are asked to go straight over, which is a little bit more complicated. So what we got going on? I think, and off we go up to the mini roundabout where we will be asked to turn right. So into B and Q, and this is going to be for one of the manoeuvres. In this case, we're going to be doing a forward bay park. So I would imagine by this point, the examiner has asked the candidate to perform a forward bay park, left or right. You do get a choice. The candidates decided to move deep into the car park. <laughs> Fair enough. And is now lining up ready for a forward bay park let's see how this goes turning into the bay don't forget to straighten the wheels when you're parallel looks about there straighten the wheels move to the back of the bay and if you're happy then it's handbrake and park and if you're not happy you are allowed to reverse and come forward again into the bay providing you do really good observations so it looks good to me so the uh, candidate's going to be coming out. Here we go. This is the reversing part of the manoeuvre. Check, check, check everywhere. And just need a bit more observations on this one. The examiner was saying at the end, just a, a little bit extra looking around the other, the other shoulder. Lots of looking to the right, but not enough looking to the left. So... Not much behind, so let's uh, let's move forward again, and off we go to leave B and Q car park, and carry on with the driving test. As we go up here towards Commercial Road, a lot of people miss this. It's actually turning into a one-way street. With their signs on the left and the right, quite hard to decipher. They're not standard signs. It does say one way on the road. And now we're in a one-way street. Just remember that. A lot of people miss that. And they still try and keep to the left down this road. We're near all the parked cars. And then when turning right at the end, which is where probably all test routes go, they uh, sometimes turn right or try to turn right from the left or do turn right from the left sometimes, which is going to be a serious fault on a driving test. But this candidate's been very clever, moved to the right, seen all the signs, seen all the road markings and turns right from the right hand lane. And then we're going into a two way road now. So remember, this is no longer one way. We've just turned into a two way road because there's an oncoming car there and uh, we just got to follow the bend round at the end. There's quite a busy zebra crossing at the top of this road, so we've got to be careful on the approach. Oh, we've got to pull over first, maybe for a hill start. Now this 
oh, it's um, an angled start. So we're getting pretty close to the car so that the uh, candidate can demonstrate a angled start. Just check, check, check everywhere. Give a signal on an angled start because we can't see what's in front of that gray car. And then uh, make sure nothing's oncoming from down the hill. Are we good? So there is a car coming up from behind. So wait for him. Another car coming up from behind. Wait for him. Should be okay now. So maybe a signal and off we go. And carrying on. We're going to go around to the left here. It's just a bend. Being very mindful of this zebra crossing. Now, what are these people doing? They don't seem to be crossing. This is having a bit of a chat on the corner. So off we go around the bend. And when we get to the second set of traffic lights, we're going to be turning right. So candidates been told in advance, which is good. So the candidates had lots of opportunity to plan ahead, move over really early, coming up to the second set of lights where we'll be turning right. Good job. So far, so good. So as we carry on up here, we're going to go around into Queen Street. It's a bend again. It turns back into a one-way road. Let's look for those signs. There's one there on the right we just passed. And as we turn, the, turn this corner, sharp deviation signs to the right. And off we go. Back down. This is a one-way street, so we can drive in the middle. It looks like the candidate's keeping a little bit left there, but probably could drive in the middle of the road there, seeing as that it is a one-way road. At the end of the road, we're going to be turning left. 
So we can see big arrows in the middle of the road. That's a bit of a heads up. There is a bike lane on the left. We don't really want to pull into that. And the oh, the candidate has, has driven. Seems, it's hard to tell on a wide angled lens, but seems to be uh, sitting in the bike lane, which, uh, which is not ideal. Not a foul in itself, not a serious fault, unless uh, it's a really inconvenience for an oncoming bike behind. That might be a bit more of an issue then. But nothing's coming up from behind. It seems clear. We're just going to wait for the uh, for the lights to change. Now, a lot of people, when they turn left here, there is a light up on the right, and people do think it's there. They think it's a pedestrian light, but it isn't. That's not a light for us. That's for cars waiting opposite. So don't stop there if you're on a test, or even if you're not on a test, don't stop there. And off we go, carrying on with our driving test. So we're going to go through two sets of lights here. There is a box junction. It must be clear before we enter it. It must be. At, we must be able to get out of it on the other side, if we're go, particularly if we're going straight on, which we are here.
So we're nearly at the end of the test now. And it was pretty uneventful, let's face it. Not a lot going on here. Even though it's an 810 test, it's really busy. But look how quiet the roads are. And it's not half term. So off we go around there. We're going to the last exit, which is the fourth exit. As we pass Tesco's there, mirror, mirror, left signal. Tell these guys what we're doing. Checking the mirrors. And off we go past McDonald's. Straight over the next roundabout. And then all the way back to the test center. Busy, very busy in the test centre today, waiting for people to come and go. And uh, we're just trying to finish the test. You'll see me in a moment. I'm waiting by the door for my candidate, for my student to come back. And uh, here we go. They're going to allow the candidate to park on a disabled bay because there's absolutely nowhere to go in this car park. There I am waiting patiently with my tea. And uh, if you want to know all the result of this test, it was a pass. And congratulations to the candidate. Done a really good job all the way round. So, hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like and subscribe.